Now that you've installed a version of the Java Development Kit, you're almost ready to start writing Java programs on your own computer. You can write Java code in any simple text editor, which we'll see in a bit. Then to run these programs, you'll need to use a command prompt window, which looks like this. The command prompt is an application that lets you give your computer commands. It's also sometimes called a command line, terminal, or shell. I'm going to close this window and show you how to find it and open up the command prompt yourself. The command prompt can be found by clicking on your start menu, going to all your applications, scroll down to your Windows system folder, expand this and you should see your command prompt right here. You can also just search command or command prompt and the applications should pop up. So here's our command prompt window. Inside you can see the version of Windows that you're running, which for me is version 10. And you can see this user's directory, which varies by computer. For me, it's user's video. And then here I can start typing commands. For my first command, I'm just going to ask my computer what version of Java it has installed. This way, I can make sure that I've installed the correct version. To check this, I just type Java, space, then dash, version, and then press Enter. And you should see something like this print out. It shows me my version of Java, which is a version of Java 8. And as of the time of this recording, May 25th, 2016, this is the latest version. It also tells me that I have a Java runtime environment. And it also says I have a Java VM, which stands for Virtual Machine. So this looks good. And if you don't see this or see something like a Java version not found message, then go back to the instructions for installing the JDK and try installing again or troubleshooting from there. We'll need to have the Java Development Kit installed before we move forward and write our own programs, so make sure you complete this step before you continue.